Welcome to Gary Clark Tech, my latest Docker and PHP course. The very first tutorial which I made for YouTube was about Docker and PHP, and so I thought to coincide with my New Look channel, it would be a good time to revisit the subject because a lot can change in two and a half years. My recordings have got a lot better, and also in the world of tech, things change very quickly. Because the first one was quite a popular tutorial, I've decided that this time I'm going to double down and go more in depth. There are going to be greater explanations. I'm also going to consider alternatives to the solutions I provide. And one other thing is that I've just had the time to look around and see the kind of things that people are struggling with. And so we're going to try and cover some of those too. I don't want to use this course to just provide you with a single solution which you kind of understand. The whole goal of this course is to educate you so that you are empowered and if you needed to, you'd be capable of coming up with a solution of your own. These are the chapters that this recording is broken down into. Any bonus chapters which I create based on user feedback or requests will be added to the GaryClark.tech site. There is a repository for this on GitHub. Just look for Gary Clark forward slash docker hyphen PHP. I think you'll find the repo really useful because it means you can just go and copy and paste the application code and that means you'll be able to stick to just doing the docker stuff. Each branch in the repo corresponds with a chapter and I'll include that info in the recording and also in the description below this video. So make sure you check out the description below the video. I'll put a load of useful information in there for you also. And so this is the system that we are going to create, or to use the correct Docker terminology, this is the network that we are going to create. If you'd like a mental reference to compare this against, then think of something like a pre-configured stack, such as a LAMP stack. This is a system composed of an Apache server, MySQL database, and PHP running on a Linux operating system. You can swap the OS for Mac and it becomes a MAMP system, or you can swap for Windows and it becomes WAMP. You get the idea. But with Docker, however, this network which we create will be portable and able to be spun up on any operating system. So we can forget about that consideration and concentrate on the component parts. These component parts will be all individual containers. Here I've swapped Apache for Nginx, that decision will be explained when we get to it, and I've added Redis, which we can use for caching and other cool redis -y things. Now this bit's important, in order to follow along you're going to need something called Docker Desktop, which you can get from this address here, docs.docker.com forward slash get docker. If the address changes, just Google uh, get docker desktop and this is what you need. And so it has uh, installations for whichever operating system you use. As you can see, we've got Mac, we've got Windows and we've got Linux. So get that, install that and then you'll have everything you need. We're going to piece all of this together step by step and so we'll be checking the testing our work as we go. Every step will be explained, each decision will be rationalised and so there'll be no mystery content. And it's going to be a lot of fun, it's going to be educational. Let's make a start now by creating something called a Docker Compose file.